With frequent Chinook winds that clear the rich native vegetation, the Rocky Mountain Front is prime wildlife winter range, and for the same reasons, the area was attractive to pioneer ranching families. By the mid-20th century, elk numbers were on the increase, and the availability of elk winter range was on the decline. In 1947, an elderly rancher offered this land for sale to the then Montana Fish and Game Department. It was 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning and the banks closed at noon. Within that one hour, a certified check had to be delivered to the bank or the sale would revert to the next buyer. Two local businessmen joined forces and bought the ranch on behalf of the department. Today, the Sun River Wildlife Management Area is one of North America's premier wildlife winter ranges. It was their foresight to be able to purchase a property like this. You know, winter and early spring is the toughest time of year for elk just because of the conditions, the weather conditions and the forage conditions. And then also it helps alleviate existing adjacent landowners of elk pressure on their properties. Because if we didn't have properties like the Sun River Wildlife Management Area or some of these other wildlife management areas in Montana, we would have some significant problems with private land where they're trying to make a living off that land at the same time. All these elk that are on the game range now, summer in the Bob Marshall Wilderness areas, the, the vast majority of them do. Most of Montana's wildlife management areas are closed from December 1st through May 15th. By mid-May, wildlife managers want the animals headed to their summer range. It gives the plants the chance to green up and produce the necessary forage for next year's wintering wildlife. This is Mike Gurnett, out with Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.